Welcome to Willow's World of DIY. I'm Willow. I cut four pieces 9 inch by 12 inches wide for the base and then I cut this piece at uh, 7 inches by 48 inches because I built this to fit onto a uh, 24 by 48 inch table and then I spaced it apart with the electrical box which is 2.5 inches to the front plate. I'm using four TYC uh, rotisserie motors. I used the bandsaw to rip the front and back pieces down to seven inches wide. And the top piece I ripped down to five inches wide. Now I'm marking the hole locations for the TYC motors and I came in four and a half inches and five inches high from the bottom. And I just centered the center two holes. And now I'm using the drill press to drill our two inch holes for the motors. Now I'm screwing the four 9 inch by 12 inch base pieces to the uh, 7 inch by 48 inch back piece. Now I'm pre-drilling all the holes for the motors and installing all the screws. I'm installing the two outside electrical boxes. I just pre-drill them and put some screws through them. I spaced them up with a block just to, I wanted to keep some airflow passages um, coming into this box for the motors as it gets hot. And I'm sanding everything down with 220 grit on the random orbital sander. Now I'm screwing our front piece down to our base pieces. Trace around the electrical boxes for the two center motor uh, on and off switches. 
and then I trace around this 3 quarter inch mill adapter for our drying rack holes. I used a 1 inch Forstner bit on the drill press to drill out our 5 drying rack holes and then the holes for the uh, electrical boxes so I can uh, sawzall them out. Now I can drill and screw our top piece into place. I pull all my motor wires down through the bottom so I can sawzall out my electrical boxes without cutting off any of those wires. And then I drill the plugs out to accept this piece of brass fitting uh, that came with the TYC motors.
I used a little bit larger bit just to drill out about 3 8 on the end so that when I press in the brass piece into the wood it'll press all the way down. Now I'm cutting some 5.5 inch pieces to support our PVC pipes and I already pre-drilled them out with a uh, 1 inch Forstner bit. I cut four 11 inch pieces of PVC pipe and then I attach my five and a half inch pieces of wood to support the PVC pipe. And now I'm wiring up a plug to the unit so that it can be plugged in. And this is what the cup turners look like when they're operating in real time. I posted a parts list in the description of this video for anyone that might want to build their own. Thanks for watching Willow's World of DIY. I hope you all found this video helpful. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Until next time.